you sit around over there for three minutes, and then I want you to sprint in at 300 in about 39. Yeah. Which is 52 base. Jonathan Johnson played both football and ran track at Abilene High, but it was on the track that he really made his mark. He broke the oldest existing record at the UIL State Track Meet in Austin as a senior in 2001 when he broke the 800 meters record in a time of 148.21. An hour later, Johnson running the anchor leg on the 1600 meter relay for the Eagles made up at least a 30 yard deficit and won the race in a come from behind photo finish reminiscent of Johnny Lamb Jones historic win in the mile relay a couple decades earlier. The dramatic finish gave Abilene High the class 5A state team championship. This class is the tenacity that that team had, but not only does that team have it, this whole class has it. Now you watch as Jonathan takes this and wins the state championship for Abilene High. Johnson then went to Texas Tech where he put together one of the greatest careers in big country track history. As a Red Raider, Johnson won nine All-American honors and four consecutive Big 12 championships in the 800 meters. He was the NCAA runner-up in the 800 in 2003 and then won the NCAA national championship in the 800 meters in 2004. He then won the U.S. Olympic Trials in 2004 and reached the semifinals of the 800 meters at the Olympics in Athens, Greece. I drew on a piece of paper what I wanted him to do and I put 24.5 at the 200 and I put 50.5 at the 400. Now I want you to watch this race. The well, lane section was able to break down real easy and not get in any bumping or get in any trouble. He ran real smart, moved in right there. 24-5 is pretty close, isn't it? The kid on the outside named Jeb Harris kind of helped us a little bit other than his uh, elbow on him. He kind of was messing with J.J. right there, and uh, J.J. was really smart. He just didn't fight him. He kind of relaxed a second, and then he just moved out. And uh, I told him to go 50.5. 50.35 was that leader. We were exactly 50.5. And then I told him at the 500 meter mark, I wanted him to get away from those older guys. They were very strong and they got a lot of kick. And so we're about to hit the 500 mark about right there. And I told him to start easing out. Not to kick, but just to kind of move on out. Just get a little bit of separation from the field. Those commentators didn't get back on the real champion there. There's a 600. I told him 117 flat. It's 117.06. And then he, uh, when he gets that head cocked, look out, folks. That's our patented thing. <laughs> right here, he got a little bit of different gear. They thought they were going to get him, and then he just kind of moved back out on them right here. Johnson had the fastest time by an American of 144.7 in the 800 in 2004. Jonathan ran track professionally in Europe for six years and now owns his own business in Carrollton, although he has not given up the hope of returning to the track and qualifying for the Olympics in 2016. He becomes the third Olympian, the second former Eagle, to be inducted into the Hall of Fame, joining pole vaulter Billy Olson from Abilene High and sprinter Dean Smith from Graham. Please welcome Jonathan Johnson, an Olympian and now a new member of the Big Country Athletic Hall of Fame.